is my first time doing an intro for this channel and I don't even know what to say. I'm trying to do my old intro and it's just like, girl, we wrong, wrong place, wrong thing. So hello, thank you for uh, tuning in to this video. I am Khadija and this is my new channel, uh, Diva and Her Plants. So, whoo, I got through it, I got through it. It was a bit of a struggle. So this is a plant haul. I have other plant hauls on my other channel. So I will try to do some type of a playlist or some try to some sort of link. Uh, wish me luck on that. But uh, this is my first plant haul on this channel. And I'm if I'm a little jittery, uh, that's why I'm less like, uh, I gotta get used to this. This is this is new and exciting and scary all at the same time. So, uh, prior to this video, I probably uploaded my Ikea come shop with me. I don't, I don't know if I did that though. I'm not quite sure if I did. Um, but if I didn't, it'll be after this one. But I went to Ikea because it's finally spring and I was interested in getting some new uh, plants, house plants. And it was kind of disappointing. I did wind up still walking out with something, of course, of course, of course. But uh, it was a little disappointing. And uh, yeah, I just can't wait to like, f spring is like in like just full swing and it's just more um, house plants readily available. I did have more success going to other places that I do shop. So it's gonna be a collective haul um, from different days and different places. Um, right now, I'm not, I guess I'm past my um, hoarding stage in plants. I feel like all plant enthusiasts or plant lovers go through the stage where they just hoard. And I'm not into that. Right now, I'm trying to find rare plants. I'm trying to find um, those coveted plants. So that's where I'm at with it. I don't know how good I'm, I'm, I did. So you guys can let me know after you watch the haul. But let's get into it. So I'm just going to reach over and just get the first thing that I... <laughs> See, so the first thing I see is this guy. So I have been on the hunt for uh, another aloe. I wanted an aloe unlike the aloe I already have. Previously, I had two aloe plants, just a traditional run-of-the-mill aloe plant. And then somebody, somebody, he's not going to be named, decides to come home with all of these. So now I have like eight aloe plants and they're all the same guy. So I was so upset. So when I saw this guy, which is which was the goal, a different type of aloe plant, I had to pick him up. Now I picked him up from Trader Joe's and he was $3. And I like that it came in this cute little pot. I didn't expect to pay $3. I was expecting to pay like seven, but $3, love it. And it just gives you, um, care instruction now one thing i thought was really funny it says one teaspoon of water once a month and even the guy when he was directing the line he said very little water and i'm like really because i have a behemoth over here and i give it as much water as it want. i water that thing like once or twice a week so i don't know <laughs> I, I feel like i'm doing something right because it's huge but who am i to you know say so this guy right here this Oh, look at that. Ew, that's creeped me out. I didn't see that. I didn't see that. I didn't touch it. like, oh, ew. <laughs> well, this is a root, and I guess I will be touching it because this guy needs to be repotted. So, uh, the guy told me that this is a Monstera. I will, before uploading, I will research it and then put the proper name on the screen. But uh, I, I've heard this referred to as a Swiss cheese not really sure um after the, exactly but i wanted it since i've seen it i thought this was just the cutest coolest plant and i finally have one i bought this in a plant district and it cost me ten dollars for this guy so they they know normally a plant this size i would want to pay like five to seven but because i've never seen it anywhere else uh i, I got it and they were actually the only store i saw it. getting back to ikea so at Ikea, I picked up this one. It says it's a Chrysula. Um, it's a succulent. It, it looks like jade to me. And it's, I've, I have a darker jade. You can see it behind me. So um, I think I've heard people refer to it as like a lemon lime. I could be wrong. But uh, this is a jade plant. I needed another. Well, one another one. These are supposed to be like good luck. So I got another one. 
and it's so cute so hopefully i can keep this one alive and my other one because i've killed one already and I, guys do you like hearing things like that like i like i find that more relatable when i'm watching someone with plan um they're showing their plans and they're just like this makes it seem like i just have the greatest of green thumbs i have two green thumbs and everything is just happy and healthy i'm like do some of your plants die does that happen do, have you killed stuff let me know in the comments if there's a plant that you just can't keep alive to save your life <laughs> i guess that's not a uh, good uh analogy but let me know there's just a plant that just doesn't do well that you just have you haven't figured out just yet i'd love to see and hear that all right so then i got this guy and this is just uh it says phalaenopsis <laughs> Ah, uh, yeah, I know I didn't say that correctly, but this is a is an orchid, and it's a little one. I've never seen a small orchid like this. Never seen it. I know I'm gonna have to repot it, and even though I, I'm not a, I've never owned, I've never owned a, or, a orchid. I'm not a flower girl. I do not like flowers traditionally, but orchids are beautiful. So when I watch you guys' videos, as you guys mean it, like you know, people that I'm subscribed to that make uh plant videos and I see their beautiful orchids I'm like it's so beautiful but I don't like them but let's see how this goes with this guy where it's one lone flower I didn't think this flower was going to make it from Brooklyn to the Bronx but it did it did and I see it's like kind of withering a little bit so <laughs> hopefully we'll get more flowers out of this guy so speaking of flowers and I just said I didn't like flowers but here we go with another one the color sold me I'm really into pink so I, I plan on adding lots of pink flowers to my collection over this spring summer uh, and this is an anthurium I believe I'm pretty sure this is an anthurium even though I'm not a flower girl I tend to know I know a little bit about plants just a little bit not I'm excited to learn more I'm going to check his roots out. His roots aren't bad, but I probably will get him potted up soon. Maybe over the next month, he'll probably get a larger home because, uh, yeah, it's got a lot of new growth on it. That, you know, sold me. But the real reason why I got this guy is because I had to get another plant because I didn't have enough cash. So I'm like, I really had one plant in mind but they're like oh that's too low to use your card. So I had to pick something else out and I was just like, let's just give it a shot. You know, he tried to get me a, 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 a African violet, but I'm like, I don't like flowers. And then I buy a flower. So this is a new plant and he's so pretty. I do have other newer plants that I just didn't want to move from where they are because they're already potted up and I just didn't want to move them. And some of them are a little heavy, but I, I couldn't resist showing you this guy. Now I've heard his name and a lot of video a lot of people have these I've seen these in a lot of collection videos but I can't think of the name off the top of my head right now and I it does I did leave it let's see this says Syngonium podophyllum but it has a more common name but I just can't think of right now and uh, I, again, I'm, I'm really into the pink. I actually saw one of these that was fully pink, but the day I saw it, it was literally two degrees outside. And the guy was just like, you know, the, the he actually was like one of the managers at that um, plant shop. And he was just like, no, I can't sell you this. I'd love to make the sale, but I can't sell it to you because it'll die. Like within you walk in a few blocks, it's just way too cold outside. So I told him I would come back, and when I came back, they didn't have any more. So I'm still on a hunt for a, a, just a full pink one, but I love it. And this guy looks like it's been happy since it's been here. It's been here less than a week, and it's already in a pot. I got this pot um, from, I left some tape on it. <laughs> got this pot from Target. How many of you guys have the little pots? And it has a little wooden thing, but I should have glued the wooden part down to it. So when I picked it up, it just... The, the wooden part still on the table but i thought this was so cute and um don't get too big too fast because i want you to stay in here for a while i have just a, a prayer plant and this uh this i have a, a prayer plant and i believe this is um maranta i could be wrong i believe i'm trying to get more into my uh 
scientific names. I'm going to get it though. As we go on, I'm going to be just saying it and this, you're going to think I'm speaking English. <laughs> just the slang way. I'm going to be spitting out those scientific names. I'm going to get them. But I had previously had two. One is still lingering and the other one just died. The mealy bugs just, it, it couldn't. It just, mealy bugs took it out. It lasted. It took, it, it took these mealy bugs a long time, maybe a good eight months of fighting and fighting. And it, it tried, but then this one day it just couldn't take it anymore. So I never had a red pear plant. So I am, I finally found a small one. And this I purchased from Home Goods. No, Home Goods, Home Depot. And it wasn't that much. It probably was $5 or less. So, um, I was so happy. Um, I see some little curling. So, I probably, no, it's wet. They watered it. I haven't watered it since it's been here. But I see a little curling. Hmm. Probably damage from, you know, the transport. Because it didn't have that when I first picked it up. But I'm glad. Let's see how I do with this. Last but not least for this haul is a coveted plant. I'm so, you, you, I was smiling. It, I smiled it, it all the way to Brooklyn. I smiled the whole time I was in Ikea. I smiled when I went plant shopping later. I was just so happy. Plants make me so happy. Because when I saw this guy, I just had, isn't, isn't this cute? I, I'm going to have, this is another plant. I'm going to have to research. I don't, I didn't buy it because I knew anything about it. I bought it because it's heart shaped. I love hearts. I've always loved hearts my entire life. So to see a heart shaped plant, I just was like, oh my gosh. So I'm not quite sure how big this gets. It looks like it needs to be repotted because I have a little bit of root sticking out. But I just hope I can care for this guy and just. I wonder if it's going to be a bunch of hearts. I don't know. If you know um, anything about this plant and you really want to give me a couple tips and care, please leave it down below. I'd love to hear. I'd love to hear from you guys anyway. So that's it. That is my plant haul. I thank you so very much for watching. Uh, go ahead and give me a thumbs up, share the video, and subscribe if you like. Uh, it's going to be a lot going on on this channel. Lots of um, plant related stuff. All right, guys. Thank you. Catch you in the next one. Later.